I don't know when it was decided that a magician has to be an entertainer above all else. You know, a painter isn't really an entertainer. A poet isn't an inter entertainer. Um, I don't think Beethoven gave a shit whether people really enjoyed his music. <laughs> I, I don't think you can do great work by simply trying to figure out what will please an audience. You say what it is that you have to say, and you say it as well as you can. For as long as I can remember, I've been trying to communicate one thing to the audience. Oh my God. It's like I learned a secret at a very young age, and I didn't know how to tell anybody about it, and I still don't know how to tell anybody about it. And the closest I've ever come to being able to communicate that one thing to, to anyone is with magic tricks. And so that's what, that's what a show is. You know, when I walk out on stage, I'm not really there to entertain them. I hope they have a good time, and I want them to be glad that they came. But, but more than anything, I want to um, use the, the craft of magic to make them understand that one thing. Because I know, I know that if I could just once uh, break through to them, if I could make them see it uh, the way I saw it, that they would remember it forever. Uh, I certainly have. Listen, I hope you had a good time tonight. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Up next. So this is my uh, this is my studio. When I'm not on the road, this is where I invent new illusions and and work on the show. And tomorrow night, the tour starts in South Carolina.